Hi, my name is Brianna Sykes. I'm a paramedic here for Baines County. Um, getting ready to give you guys a tour of what the our everyday life is in the back of this ambulance. So first we start here uh, with the cab of the truck. Um, this is where we keep our computer, our clipboard. Um, this is where our gloves and stuff is at for everything. Our radio so we can communicate. Um, this way, this first section right here is where we keep our oxygen. Um, this big O2 tank also leads into the main back area of the vehicle. This section right here is part of our trauma section. It's our um, tarps. That way we can move people quickly in and out of the house if need be. It also has our splints down here, our frack packs, and our um, KED, KED to be able to get um, people out of the vehicle quickly um, when they're in accidents and that such. This section right here, if you can see, it opens up on the inside. So we have access on the inside as well. This is our um, protection, like our extrication gear, our bulletproof vest. This is our um, linen. And this up top is part of our trauma section. I'll show you a little bit more in depth when we get on the inside. This is the back door to the ambulance. On this side of this compartment, we have our stair chair for patients who have steps. We have to get them out of the house. The stretcher can't go in. Our seat collars and our head blocks. And these are our long spine boards that we use to get patients in and out of vehicles and off floors and stuff of that nature. That's in this cabin. This is the side door to get inside the ambulance. And then this right here is another access cabinet for our um, PP as far as our gowns and our masks for um, patients who are sick who have the coronavirus. Up here is our pediatric bag and up there is our suction. It's just another um, cabinet, easy access cabinet. That way if we're on the scene and we need to grab something fast, we don't have to go inside the cab. Um, this is the newest truck that we have. So it's got um, an automatic stretcher and lift, which makes it easier for um, us as far as patients. Um, this section right here is our airway section. Up top is pediatric, bottom is adult. On this side, you have your bag valve masks, your OPAs and your NPAs, your suction, and your um, ET tubes for when we intubate patients. Below that, you'll see that we have our oxygen right here. This is what connects to the big O2 tank that's on the outside of the truck. This right here is our monitor for us to be able to monitor patients. Below that are our emesis bags, and above that are our um, IV fluids, our dopamine, and just some extra supplies and syringes in this cabinet. And then on this side, we have our IV cabinet. This has all the supplies in it to start IVs. It has our catheters, um, our windows, our extension sets. Um, it has blood draw kits for patients who may need a blood draw before they get to the hospital so it's already done before we get there. And it also has our normal saline syringes in here as well. This is the cabinet I was talking to y'all about that you can see on the outside that we also have access to on the inside. This middle cabinet keeps all of our bandages for traumas. Um, we also have some normal saline just in case we need to wash some stuff off. We also have um, heat packs and cold packs in here for patients. Um, all of our bandaging stuff is right here in the middle. The lower cabinet, you can also access the linen. And then this upper cabinet up here has um, extra supplies such as um, lancets for a um, glucose monitor band-aids, alcohol preps. We also have soft restraints up here um, for when we need to use them. This cabinet up here is just extra storage for masks and emesis bags. And then that cabinet behind you is um, full of PPE and protective gear for us. When we go on scene, 
And then in this cabinet, you can also access this one from the outside like earlier. But this has our burn kit in it for patients who have significant burns, minor burns, anything like that. It has our lactated ringers in it. This is our portable suction that we take in. And then this module right here is our cardiac arrest module. And then in this blue bag, when we pull this out, this is our pediatric bag. Depending on how much your child weighs, depends on which color bag we use. All we have to do is pull out a bag and whatever we're supposed to use per that child, per that color is in that bag already so we don't have to search for it. This bag we take in on every single call we go to. Um, it's kind of heavy. It weighs about 70 pounds. Um, but that's just because it has everything we might need um, to be able to help that patient before we can get them to the back of the truck. So in this big compartment, you have a bag valve mask. You have an I.O. drill. You have your medications in this red bag. And then you have your airway kit just in case you need to intubate somebody. This right here is your IV stuff to be able to start an IV in the house. This top section is your airway section. So your NAMI breathers, your nasal cannulas, your NEB mask. We even have a pediatric NEB mask in here. Your OPAs and your MPAs, your CPAP, your albuterol, and then your other airway devices are in this section right here. On this side of the bag is your trauma section. Just in case they're hemorrhaging and we can't get them to the truck, we have everything in here that we have on the truck that we'd be able to stop it with. And on this section, on this side of the bag, it's our vital side of the bag. So normally, on a normal day, you'll have a manual blood pressure cuff, stethoscope, and a thermometer. We like to keep our thermometer in that little caddy because it's just less stuff to have to carry around. Right here on the wall, we have extra O2 tanks, um, smaller O2 tanks that go inside the residence with us at all times. And in this bottom case right here is also extra O2 tanks that we have. 